You know what they say, never meet your idol in person. Well, in some cases, that advice holds true. Some of them aren't so nice in person. In fact, they've gained a reputation for being some of the meanest people you could meet, despite their on-screen persona being much, much different. We've made a list of 20 people who are incredibly loved but are actually huge jerks behind the camera. If you happen to come across these individuals, it's generally a good idea to keep walking and resist the urge to ask for their autographs. You never know how they might react. Some may simply ignore you, while others might respond with offensive language. Number 1. Cameron Diaz, Seeking Cameron Diaz's autograph might not be the wisest decision. It's an experience you might come to regret. Frankly, who's clamoring for her autograph these days anyway? She's earned the dubious distinction of being ranked among the worst celebrities to approach. It's not just a simple no from her. She takes it a step further by lecturing fans on why asking for autographs is a foolish endeavor. As if the rejection isn't disappointing enough, now you get a scolding from a middle-aged woman who seems to think she's playing the role of your mom. It's one thing to decline, but there's a way to do it without coming off as a total jerk. Here's a little anecdote to illustrate her less-than-charming behavior. During a party hosted by Drew Barrymore, Cameron Diaz managed to make a memorable impression. Instead of socializing and enjoying the festivities, she spent a significant portion of the time chain smoking. Guests at the party even reported that when they dared to ask for a cigarette, she refused to share, deeming it a rude request. Now, we won't delve into the complexities of bumming a cigarette. It's a tricky business, and can easily be construed as impolite. However, not engaging with others at a party, that's a whole different level of rudeness. Perhaps Cameron and her cigarettes can enjoy their exclusive company because, at this point, it seems like no one else is eager to be around her. Number 2. Sandra Bullock Contrary to the widely held belief that Sandra Bullock is a sweetheart, her off-camera demeanor doesn't quite match the public image she cultivates when the cameras are rolling. While it's acceptable for celebrities to decline autograph requests, it crosses a line when they resort to insulting fans. In a particular incident, a disabled veteran requested Bullock's autograph, only to receive a response involving her covering her face and verbally abusing him. The aftermath of this incident surely posed quite a challenge for her PR team as they attempted to smooth things over with the public. Adding to the complexity of her public perception, her ex-husband, Jesse James, claimed in an interview that he cheated on Bullock because he felt inferior due to her allegedly controlling behavior. Acknowledging James's reputation as a known jerk, especially for infidelity, we take his statements with a grain of salt. However, considering the accounts of others that align with his narrative, dismissing his claims outright might be premature. Furthermore, when viewed in the context of other instances of less-than-ideal behavior attributed to Bullock, his explanation doesn't seem far-fetched at all. Number 3. Kirstie Alley While Alley may present herself as amiable in interviews, her actions tell a different story. When one of her close friends left Scientology, she took to Twitter to publicly criticize and bash her former friend. Engaging in a public feud with a personal acquaintance hardly paints a picture of a great person. Her derogatory comments, including a tweet stating, Ha ha, I love talking smack, revealed a penchant for hostility that seemingly outweighs the value she places on friendships. Allie's behavior has not gone unnoticed, and as a result, many other celebrities are reluctant to work with her, a decision that seems quite justified. Some of her most egregious actions include making controversial statements such as linking psychiatric drugs to shooters and posting a tweet with a picture of Stephen Hawking after his passing, accompanied by the words, You had a good go at it. Thanks for the input. Such behavior tarnishes her reputation and it's regrettable that she has essentially blacklisted herself, despite not being the worst actor in the world. Number 4. Patrick Dempsey Patrick Dempsey, once a fan favorite on the medical drama Grey's Anatomy, unfortunately, became quite the diva on set. 
The phenomenon of fame turning people into difficult personalities seems to be a consistent aspect of Hollywood. His disrespectful behavior towards the cast and crew ultimately led to his departure from the show. Despite portraying the charming McDreamy on screen, the reality was far from it, and this has become a widely acknowledged fact. Following experiences with Dempsey and other notable narcissists, Shonda Rhimes, the show's creator, head writer, executive producer, and showrunner, made a noteworthy announcement about adopting a no ave holes policy. Given the existing drama on the show, it's understandable why such a decision was made. While fans may still be mourning the loss of McDreamy, Dempsey's co-workers likely breathed a sigh of relief once they were no longer subjected to his disruptive behavior on set, a sentiment many can empathize with. Number 5. Johnny Depp Johnny Depp's reputation is marred by a history of violent incidents, often involving altercations on set. In the filming of City of Lies, Depp faced a lawsuit for allegedly assaulting the location manager not once, but twice, a perplexing scenario that raises questions about the manager's actions from Johnny Depp's perspective. Adding to the controversy, in 1994, Depp caused $10,000 in damages by completely destroying a hotel room and attempting to shift blame to an armadillo. The on-set dynamics appear equally troublesome. Former managers have disclosed that Depp seems to believe he no longer needs to learn his lines, a fundamental responsibility for any actor. While this attitude might be influenced by his extensive collaboration with Tim Burton, who allows creative freedom, it doesn't justify neglecting other directors who invest considerable effort in their films. Number 6. Katherine Heigl Katherine Heigl soared to success in both TV and film in a remarkably short time. But her career hit a snag due to her reputation. Not one to hold back. Heigl earned a name for herself by openly criticizing her own projects and speaking harshly about her fellow celebrities. While talking behind backs is a Hollywood tradition, most stars tend to be discreet about it, choosing privacy over public outbursts. However, that's just not Katherine Hegel's style, it seems. In a bold move, she once turned down an Emmy nomination for Grey's Anatomy, expressing her belief that the show's writing didn't deserve the recognition. I'm sure her fellow contenders were devastated to see her step away. Heigl also took aim at Knocked Up, deeming it hateful toward women. Then, in 2010, she demanded a whopping $3 million to appear in Valentine's Day, a rather outrageous request given it was an ensemble film where her onset time wouldn't be extensive. Number 7. Candace Cameron Bure Candace Cameron Bure has had quite a wholesome career. Many of us remember her as DJ Tanner on Full House, and she's become a staple in Hallmark rom-coms, arguably more than anyone else in the field, except maybe her former Full House co-star, Lori Loughlin, whose reputation has had its ups and downs. Known for her outspoken conservative Christian values, you might expect Candace to be friendly in person. However, that's not exactly the case, at least according to Jojo Siwa. In a recent TikTok that went viral, the YouTuber labeled Candace as the rudest celebrity she'd ever met. Their encounter took place at the Fuller House premiere in 2016 when JoJo was just around 14 years old. According to Boer, who later called JoJo and shared the details in a lengthy Instagram video, the perceived rudeness stemmed from Candace declining to take a picture with JoJo at the event. Candace insists it wasn't a big deal and all seems to be well between them now. Number 8. Toby Maguire Toby Maguire might be an okay actor, but his treatment of others leaves much to be desired. There's a story about him being out one night, chatting with a cocktail waitress, and deciding that she made too much money. Instead of leaving a tip, he asked her to bark like a seal who wants a fish for $1,000. When she laughed it off, he insisted she actually do it. Ah, the wonders of Hollywood and its down-to-earth inhabitants. A casting director even went so far as to label Maguire as the worst little monster you've ever met. After hearing that anecdote, we're inclined to agree. On set, there's a rule not to make eye contact with him, 
typical diva behavior among actors, and, less commonly, he prefers people to address him as Tugboat McGuire or Tugboat Toby. It's not fiction, and we really wish we could erase it from memory. Number nine, Terrence Howard. Terrence Howard might come across as a decent guy, but his past is marked by dark incidents. In 2001, he physically assaulted his first wife, Lori McComas, because she spoke to him in what he deemed a real strong manner. In 2005, he punched his second wife, Michelle Ghent. Another troubling episode occurred in 2010, when Ghent claimed Howard threw her across a hotel room, then took her to the balcony, threatening to toss her over the railing. His problematic behavior extends into his professional life. That's reportedly why he was let go from Iron Man, with Don Cheadle stepping in. Howard wanted more money and left when his demand wasn't met. To make matters worse, he continued to complain about this injustice for years, placing blame on Robert Downey Jr., the same actor who advocated for equal pay for everyone on the Avengers set. Oh, the woes of a Hollywood superstar. Number 10. Jared Leto. Jared Leto, known for his recent portrayal of the Joker in Suicide Squad, has had a fan base for quite some time. However, he makes it onto this list due to reports of rude behavior towards his castmates on set. He reportedly sent each of them a peculiar gift, including bullets, anal beads, and used condoms. While some might argue he was attempting method acting, it comes across as more annoying than anything else. If you're going to be unpleasant, there's no need to go overboard with obnoxious pretentiousness. Adding to the controversy, Leto has alienated fans through hostile behavior and outbursts. There are also claims from certain fans that he mistreats women, using them and then discarding them. While some Reddit threads delve into detailed stories, including allegations of a particular interest in underage girls, it's crucial to note that these are unverified claims. Regardless, there are well-documented instances that make us shake our heads at his actions. Number 11. Zoe Deschanel Zoe Deschanel, despite her cute and quirky public persona, received less flattering descriptions from her castmates throughout her career. Terms like nasty, moody, and unhappy were thrown around, and while those might technically fall under the quirky umbrella, they're a far cry from being cute. She's known to wield a strong influence on the set, taking charge and sometimes exhibiting less than pleasant behavior when schedules don't align with her preferences. Quite the class act indeed. According to one producer, Deschanel earned the title of a horrible boss, and it doesn't seem like an exaggeration. When disruptions inevitably occurred on set, she would halt filming abruptly, treat others poorly, and occasionally not show up at all, a behavior that could be likened to a temper tantrum. These issues on set might explain why she's not as prominent in the limelight these days. Number 12. Russell Crowe Russell Crowe is no stranger to having a sizable ego in the world of show business, a trait that's not exactly a rarity among actors. His appearances in the news often involve him bad-mouthing other figures in the industry. One notable incident saw him calling George Clooney a Frank Sinatra wannabe, prompting Clooney to respond with a humorous note questioning Crow's motives. Dude, the only people who succeed when two famous people are fighting is People magazine. What the fuck is wrong with you? And here's one more story to add to the mix. During the filming of Gladiator, Crow would make 3 a.m. calls to the producer just to unleash a barrage of screams, threats, and even promises to kill him with his bare hands. The reason? Apparently, Crow believed that DreamWorks had lowballed one of his assistants. While standing up for your team is commendable, issuing murder threats isn't exactly the most effective way to negotiate. Number 13. Shia LaBeouf Shia LaBeouf has given us plenty of reasons not to be fans, and one glaring example of his lousy attitude is when he blatantly plagiarized an entire screenplay. Yes, you heard that right. He essentially took an existing script, copied it word for word, and tried to pass it off as his own without expecting anyone to notice. It was the work of comic writer Daniel Klaus, 
and Shia seemed genuinely surprised that people cared when the plagiarism was exposed. Talk about audacity. But Shia's troubling behavior doesn't end there. A more recent instance involves FKA Twigs, who took him to court, accusing him of physical and emotional abuse. This lawsuit doesn't seem like a stretch given Shia's track record. It goes beyond just being a jerk. It reveals a darker side to his character. Past girlfriends have also come forward, supporting Twig's claims by sharing their own experiences of abuse. Number 14. Jonah Hill Jonah Hill might make a living as a comedian, but don't try cracking jokes around him. Apparently, his sense of humor isn't always on point. In one interview, when the interviewer playfully called him Seth, Jonah responded with a deadpan. That's a great way to start. As they tried to ask questions, he gave them very little to work with, making it nearly impossible to carry on with the interview. It sounds like someone's feelings got a bit bruised. People who spend time around Jonah Hill tend to notice how challenging he can be. Just take a look at any of his interviews. In a Howard Stern interview, he'd drop lines like, Out of respect for myself, I'm going to finish my thought. Not that Howard Stern is a saint but the whole interaction highlighted the arrogance both of them were bringing to the table. It seems like Jonah can't go through an interview without putting someone in an awkward situation. Number 15. Ben Stiller Ben Stiller may have us in stitches on the big screen, but in real life, he seems to carry a less-than-amiable demeanor. It's almost like the funniest guys are often the meanest, right? There have been reports suggesting he's quite entitled, which is somewhat par for the course for a Hollywood superstar born into a showbiz dynasty. One tale goes that Stiller had a meltdown because there were precisely two ice cubes missing from his Diet Coke. Why exactly two? Well, freakouts rarely follow logic. In another display of entitlement, he apparently has his personal assistant stand guard in his parking spot to ensure no one else dares to park there. Except for him, of course. You'd think someone as famous as him could come up with a more efficient system. According to a Reddit user who worked on the set of Tropic Thunder, Stiller wasn't the friendliest to everyone. The user recounted how Stiller fired an employee simply because he believed there wasn't enough sugar in his coffee. Clearly, the man has some strong opinions about his beverages. Number 16. Tom Cruise while many people still hold a fondness for Tom Cruise, there's a growing sentiment in Hollywood that questions why. Frankly, we're a bit puzzled ourselves. Cruise became notorious for establishing peculiar rules with Katie Holmes both during and after their marriage. Beyond prohibiting her from seeing other men immediately after their split, she couldn't travel with their daughter and was even forbidden from talking to Cruise's other ex, Nicole Kidman truly the pinnacle of stable and mature behavior, right? Cruz's regular outbursts about Scientology only add to the perplexity. Who wants to be subjected to proselytization, especially when it revolves around a religion concerning space aliens? And it's not just the Scientology stuff. There are reports that he instructed Navy sailors not to speak or even look at him while filming Top Gun 2. Respect for our troops, huh? Seems a bit lacking in that department. Number 17, Reese Witherspoon. The image of Reese Witherspoon as the quintessential American sweetheart is being called into question, revealing a side that may not align with her on-screen persona. Disappointingly, it seems her charming public image might be just that, an image. Allegations of self-entitlement surfaced when she and her husband were pulled over for weaving in and out of traffic lanes. Instead of cooperating, reports suggest she asserted her status, saying to the officer, Do you know my name? You're about to find out who I am. This incident led to her arrest for disorderly conduct. Sources from Star Magazine paint a less-than-flattering picture of Witherspoon, describing her as anything but sweet. The staff allegedly tiptoed around her to avoid upsetting her, going to great lengths to cater to her demands. It's been reported that she refuses to remove her sunglasses, creating an atmosphere where making eye contact is strictly off-limits. 
The dynamics with her husband Jim suggest a power imbalance, with efforts to portray him as having the upper hand. Seeing Reese in this light is disheartening for those who admired her as America's sweetheart. It's disheartening to see Reese in this light. And hopefully, this was just a one-time incident. Number 18. William Shatner William Shatner's Comedy Central roast was a standout because it provided stars with the opportunity to unleash years of pent-up frustration at this supposed Hollywood grouch. As it turns out, his behavior on the set of Star Trek made most of his co-stars dislike him. He earned the unflattering nickname Captain Jerk for not attending Leonard Nimoy's funeral. Not the most imaginative nickname, but it certainly conveys the sentiment. His attitude doesn't improve at conventions, where fans and co-stars are forced to endure his significant ego. There's an instance where he yelled at Denise Crosby, Tasha Yar from Star Trek, whenever she tried to answer a question. Witnessing his treatment of co-stars, it becomes challenging to muster any respect for the man. Moreover, his bad behavior appears to be driving away the few fans brave enough to stick around, so he might not have to worry about upsetting them for much longer. Number 19. Mike Myers While you might remember him fondly as Austin Powers, it turns out Mike Myers isn't as groovy, baby, as his iconic character. His controlling behavior, narcissism, and firing someone for making eye contact have tarnished his public image. One incident involved him not signing an autograph for a company that produced toys based on his characters. Later, he demanded their products be rushed to him overnight, but refused to foot the bill for shipping. Myers is also infamous for insisting that the entire Shrek film be redone because he suddenly decided the character should have a Scottish accent. While he may have had a point, imagine Shrek without that accent, it still seems a bit extreme to jeopardize the whole production with such a major revision. Hollywood has been steering clear of casting him due to his reputation, with many who've worked directly with the comedian describing him as insufferable. Number 20. Christina Aguilera From music to movies and TV, Christina Aguilera has effortlessly navigated through various facets of Hollywood, earning her a dedicated fan base over the decades. Unfortunately, like many in Tinseltown, she appears to have fallen into the trap of exhibiting jerky behavior. It's a disappointing turn, though not entirely unexpected. The intertwining of fame and unpleasant conduct is a common narrative, much as we wish it weren't, and Extina is no exception to this trend. In the early 2000s, Aguilera raised eyebrows with sometimes blunt remarks about fellow musicians like Mariah Carey, Britney Spears, and Pink. However, it appears her less-than-stellar behavior didn't conclude with her pop diva era. Reports suggest she's been aloof and distant, not discriminating between interviewers and fans. On-set rumors surfaced when she announced her departure from The Voice, with allegations that several of her fellow judges couldn't stand working with her. Are there any celebs that you thought were incredibly nice, but turned out to be super rude? Comment down below to let us know. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up to support us. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you're still not yet. Thanks for joining us. See you next time. Bye-bye.